Hello and welcome welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, today I'm investigating this Acer laptop. This is an E1 series um, that's got a dodgy power connector on it. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and show you here what we've got. I'm going to plug this in and zoom the camera, because I can do that now. If I bend the plug thusly, you'll see the charge light just coming on and off there where there's a poor connection. So we're gonna take this apart and have a look at that and see what we can do with it. So yeah, step one, disassemble the laptop. assembly on. I basically had to remove the motherboard in, actually, in order to actually get to the wires going to the display so I may as well just you know carry on. Uh, right what have we got? The last thing holding this motherboard on now is the actual AC cable. Hello there. Hello. Oh bonus piece you guys. We interrupt this video to let you know that one of my new cameras has arrived. <laughs> More about that another time. Back to the video. Uh, where was I? Yes, okay, so um, last thing holding that on is the actual DC cable, so let's just pull that out. That's on bloody tight. Absolutely full of it. It's going to be burning up in there. I'll have to clean all that out while we're at it. That'll be fun. Right. Okay, so we need to break, get this speaker bot out the way, and uh, that will give us access to remove it. The nice thing about speakers is because they're magnetic, you can stick their own screws to them. The reason why I wanted to remove the display is the display is constantly weighing the laptop down. I'm constantly having to hold this up to stop it from falling backwards. I'm currently leaning on the front to do this. So this is why you take the display assembly off. Because if nothing else, it just stops you from having to lean on anything. Uh, yep, I think that's just about been clear. Thank you. 
Nice. After all of that, the display assembly's got to come off anyway because the cable is trapped underneath the hinge. So uh, let's have off the other speaker as well and we'll finish taking this display off. a look at this thing. Oh, all right, well, this is very clear. Let's get a bit of zoomage going on. Right, as you can see, there is our problem. That negative wire has just come straight off the bottom as I took it out there. So that's our issue. We'll resolder that and that'll be absolutely fine and we can then refit it. Okay, so in the break, I just very sneakily set up my new camera. So as you can see, we've now got a close-up cam again. Uh, this is a work in progress, so bear with me. Uh, anyway, so uh, as you can see, we need to sort this out. So first thing we need to do is strip this bit back and get a nice clean bit of wire that we can solder with again. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a pair of pliers and clean that up. Okay, that heat shrinks on pretty good. I'm trying to avoid just cutting this off altogether because obviously I can't make the wire any longer. And it's already the maximum length that it needed to be when it was made. So. Just trying to pull off. There we go. That's what I wanted. You can see we've got a nice bared bit of wire there now. What we'll do, we'll solder that into there. Right. I'm a hack when it comes to soldering, so I just tend to load up my soldering iron with a blob and just go bleh. Nope, more solder. Bleh. Jesus Christ. The wire is just soaking it up like a sponge. There we go. Let's just adjust that so it's got a bit more contact. Still not quite what I want. Problem is, I need three hands. Now, there we go. Right, that's now soldered back on. That's a good solid connection now. That's not coming off in a hurry. Right, so I'm gonna get out my uh, hot glue gun now and just put a bit of glue around that just to keep it nice and tidy and out of harm's way. This is a major danger, as I've said before. You can see the actual exhaust there along the back of this heatsink is almost completely blocked off by dust, as well as the fan's intake vanes around the inside here. They're not looking too clever either. So uh, it's really important that you get your laptop serviced now and then, otherwise this will kill it, I can guarantee it. Okay, lovely and clean. And that airway is now nice and clear. You can't see through it, but I can assure you it's very clear. Right, so let's put that uh, 
cowl back over and then we can reassemble the laptop. There is the body. Now before this goes back in, I've got to put the uh, nice and repaired power jack back in place. Okay, right, just doing one last check over those connectors to make sure that everything that should be there is present. The only thing that's missing at the moment is the keyboard because it's not here, so uh, we know we're safe to actually start pinching this together again. The acid test for testing this is to take the battery out and power the laptop on on mains only. Because there's no battery backup, if there's any interruption in the power supply, the laptop will cut out. So we'll be able to instantly see if there's a problem or not. I'm just going to tap F2 to go into setup just so it's not trying to start up. Right, and now give that a wiggle and there's no problems there at all. There we go, solid as a rock. We're done. Right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time.